Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel, you guys. I hope you're all well. I hope you guys are doing excellent today. And yeah, let's jump into your reading, you guys. I hope you know that like each week I do a bonus, okay? So I do a bonus for the signs that came in first place. Obviously, I'll do it for the first place winner. Um, so what I basically do is I do a bonus for that topic. So like this week, um, I think Pisces will probably get the bonus reading. But it, it really is just simple. If you guys want a bonus reading, you just leave a comment down below. Um, that's how I decide on who gets the bonus readings. Okay. So, yeah. And, yeah, let's just jump into your reading. So, this is your Who is Secretly Jealous of You reading. Let's jump right in. Okay. Let's see what's going on for my Capricorns. Who's jealous of you? Why are they jealous of you? How long has this been going on? What are they jealous of? Okay. Is this your friend? Is this your family member? Who is this? Okay, let's see who this is. <clears throat> I feel like it's a Gemini. I don't know why I'm getting Gemini. I don't know where that's coming from. Okay, let's see. We have the Two of Swords. Four of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Okay, how they view you is a missed opportunity. Oh, wait, they're going to come back around. Okay, so this is like an opportunity coming back around. You're like an opportunity coming back around? This person wants to, okay, so whoever this is, they want to tell you the truth, okay? I am hearing, yeah, it's Gemini. Um, Somebody's saying it, it's a Gemini. I'm hearing it's a Gemini, okay? <clears throat> I don't know why I'm hearing that. We also have Pisces here, so it could be a mutable sign. So Virgo, Gemini, Pisces, Virgo. Did I ever say Virgo? Virgo, Gemini, Pisces, Sag. Um, I know they're, they're, they're not here. Pisces is here, though. Um, I do have Libra twice. So this person could have Libra in their chart or Libra exalted or you do, okay? I'm hearing, oh, wow. I feel like, the, okay, for whatever reason, like if you're connecting to a Leo, check out that reading because I'm getting a similar feeling like I got in their reading. And it feels like someone's sick. It feels like someone doesn't feel good about this. Like, yeah, Seven of Pentacles, I'm sorry, the Seven of Swords in reverse is like someone who wants to be honest. They want to tell the truth. I feel like somebody's, it's like eating away at them. I don't know I'm hearing that. I know, like, it's so weird because the Nine of Swords is not here. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. Eight of Swords is not here. The signs that are, like, plaguing either their mind or their emotions, they're not present in this reading. But the Seven of Swords in reverse in the obstacle position is giving me, like, this worrying, like, this vibe. Like, someone is feeling very ill, okay? I don't know I'm seeing. Like, their, their stomach is very, their, their stomach is in knots, Okay. Especially with the justice in reverse. I don't know I'm getting with the justice in reverse. They know what they did was wrong. They know what they said was wrong. Um, I do feel like this person talks about you a lot. I am getting that feeling. You also have um, two twos in your reading. So you could be seeing two, two, two on the clock quite a bit. Okay. Um, you have two fours in your reading as well. So four, four, four could be significant. Four, four, four means you're protected. Two, two, two is about alignment. Okay. So, um, wow. And you have the six of sword, swords and how you're being seen. I don't know. I feel like this is someone who who loves you, like who's in, uh, in like sort of in love with you. I know. I don't. I don't. It's so weird because like I don't get it that it's a love reading, but I feel like this person's in love with you with the King of Cups. Oh, I'm hearing. I want you to want me. I need you to need me. I love you to want me. I don't even know the lyrics, but you guys, I'm hearing that. This is someone. Oh my God. So the person that's jealous of you is a masculine, okay? It's a male. It's a male. He's, I know, it's weird. I feel like he's younger than you. So are you like his sugar mama or something? I don't know. This is weird. <laughs> You're like this guy's sugar mama or he looks up to you. Like, I don't know why I'm hearing like, she's got it all. Like, she's got it. She's got her, I don't know what I'm hearing. Um, she's like the wind. And then I'm hearing Miss Independent. I'm hearing two different songs. Miss Independent, and she's like the wind, okay? You may have air in your big three, so you have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in your moon or your rising. I feel like this person's enamored by you. I feel like your intellect is just very striking, you know? There's something about you. Like, I feel like this is a man, okay? I don't know why I'm getting like, this is a man that's jealous of you, girl. And then I just feel like, you know, Capricorn is always giving me that vibe, too. Like, this is a woman who does not need nobody. This is a woman who has her own business. This bitch got, like, her own... You know, she her her assistant has an assistant. Like that's the energy of Capricorn. <laughs> I saw this meme the other day. It is, and you know, I don't know if you guys ever seen the movie um, The Devil Wears Prada with Meryl Streep. I love Meryl Streep. Anyways, um, 
where she's standing in the elevator. You know the scene where she's standing in the elevator <laughs> with her glasses on? Okay, that's some Capricornian shit, okay? I'm just saying, like, um, it said, what did it say on the meme? It said, can we be more than friends? And she, and then, the, and then she says, no, um, you could be my assistant or some shit like that. <laughs> this is, a, okay, I don't know if this man worked for you or what, but I feel like this is genuinely, like, someone who does, they're enamored by you. I feel like you're very striking. I feel like whenever you walk into the room, they panic. Okay, if this is someone who gets your coffee, oh my god, they look forward to that shit. They're like, oh, cannot wait to get her fucking coffee today. <laughs> it's like, it's like, they, I don't know if like if you're like into that BDSM shit, but I feel like this is someone who would let you like beat them. <laughs> this is so weird, but they're jealous of you. I know this is so creepy. I know. Um, oh my god. Okay, and with the two of swords and the justice, ah, oh, this person's been in and out. See, because I feel like they don't know how to navigate their feelings or their emotions for you. Okay. Um, they want to be honest with you. I feel like it's, um, this definitely is someone younger than you. I feel like if you have your own business, you have your own home, your all your bills are like, I feel like you're unencumbered. Okay. We have the ace of pentacles, which is the windfall card. This is the hand of God. I feel like you are, you've been blessed. Okay. By the gods with something very, um, I don't, I don't know how to say this. Like you earned it on your own, but I'm hearing like something, I feel like it has, it's tied to your North node purpose. Okay. By you going down your North Node path, um, you've been sort of compensated or not compensated. Um, yeah, maybe compensated for some some sort of harsh upbringing when you were a kid. Okay, somebody feels like you have it all, and it's sort of not fair. Um, I feel like there. If this is a man, he he. I don't know why I'm seeing Esmeralda. I know somebody else talked about her the other day. I feel like this is a man who wants to like dominate you, but can't. Okay, I know this is a weird reading, but it's like um. Like, if he can't dominate you, he's going to take you out. Or he's going to, I don't want to scare you guys. He's going to take you down, okay? I don't see, like, he's going to take you out. I just feel like this is someone who's really, really, really looking for their moment. They really want their moment with you. They really want to prove to you they're worthy, okay? They're really jealous that you're of your independence, Capricorn. That's 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 why they're, I know, this is a weird reading. They're jealous of your cap, your um, your your 10th house. That's what they're jealous of. You are the 10th house, okay? Um, I don't know why that energy is coming out for you, but like, yeah, I feel like if you own your own business or if you're just um, an entrepreneur, I just feel like there's somebody around you. I feel like it's a male. It could be your husband, okay? Um, for somebody, I feel like it could be a husband. I feel like it's a boyfriend. For a lot of you, it's a boyfriend. Or it's a guy that you work with who feels like, oh, you got a raise, you got a promotion, and you got it before me, and you weren't here as long as I was. I feel like it's that energy. Like, it's, the, it's, it's like you keep getting promoted, and somebody around you is like feeling some type of way. And it's definitely a masculine, you guys, okay? I, they keep saying it's a male, but he's very emotional, okay? You're going to know who this is because he might actually, um, I don't know, I just like, I feel like you know who this is and it rub, he rubs you the wrong way. Like, is this the guy that rubs you the wrong way? Like, he acts more fe like female than he's supposed to? <laughs> no shade, okay? No shade. All, all genders are welcome. I'm just saying, you feel like he's super feminine and he gossips or something. I don't know why I'm hearing someone says he's gossiping, but I think he likes you, okay? I think he likes you and... He doesn't know how to navigate those feelings for you because he's also jealous that you got a promotion or he's also jealous that you were here less time. I feel like you weren't there as long as him. And all of a sudden you show up and you get all these accolades. Okay. Um, we do have the six of swords too. Six of swords too. So it's like, this is how you're being seen. This person is kind of wanting to beat you. All right. I see them trying to beat you with the four cups in reverse. Four cups talks about opportunity. So I feel like they're looking for an opportunity to come in and sort of beat you because they, they missed their chance last time. So I don't know if you guys are like working with this person on a project or what, but baby, I feel like they noticed you. Okay, you you're you're all brains. I heard all brains and all legs. Do you have long legs? Do you have long legs? Okay, you could have like Libra in your chart. I'm also seeing Virgo. Okay, um, I'm gonna get an Oracle message really quick, you guys. I'm not gonna make this reading too long. Um, I feel like you pretty much covered it. I feel like you did. Um. You know, you know who this person is because I feel like they kind of watch you from across the room and you catch them looking at you sometimes. Um, I see like a guy watching you like with a, a stack of like files, okay? And he's just like, ugh, but he likes you. Like he likes you and he's trying not to like you because you're the enemy. <laughs> Bitch, um, I, how long you been here? Because I've been up for a promotion. Like I feel like this is somebody who's jealous of your status, Okay. Jealous of your status, boo-boo. If you have your own platform, like if you have your own channel, I feel like your husband or your boyfriend is jealous of that, okay? Yeah. 
All right. If you have your own business date, they're really the the opposite sex is really tripping on you. Okay. Anyways, oh, we got we got two jumpers. So if you guys made it this far, take advantage of your free personal readings down below. They are the second, third, and fourth link. Okay. Um, if you're trying to book a reading with me, that is the first. Well, yeah, you can find it, all that information on that website. Um, it depends on where you guys are at. I mean, I think one of them is my merchandise. I don't know. Your life is a canvas. Artist, manifestation, creative accountability. Yeah. All right. It doesn't have to correlate with reading. I feel like that's just a bonus. Okay. Um, I feel like too, you're the, a very take charge person with this card. Yeah, you're very take charge. You know, uh, Capricorns are cardinals, naturally, right? Right? You're cardinal, baby. Cardinals are the initiators. Girl, get out of here with that. Like, I don't want to be hearing, bitch, please. Okay, because, like, I'll get the job done. Like, I feel like you outwork people, and it bothers them. It could be the opposite sex. It could be a multitude of people. But I feel like, for a lot of you, it's it's a male figure who's very emotional. Um, He may have even cried in front of you, and you found that to be very weak. What? Did you say something to this man? Okay, we're gonna get up out of here because I feel like men have feelings too, baby. I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna have an opinion about this, but I feel like you did you did say something to him. Okay, um, he likes you. Okay, I feel like he likes you, but he wants to not like you. Okay, I don't know. Have you ever liked somebody that you wanted to not like? It's, it's very strange, right? I don't know. I feel like this is someone who is looking for a reason to not like you but they can't find any, okay? Um, I feel like too, if you took something or if you took something from them, maybe you didn't take it. It was rightfully yours, but they see it that way, okay? They do. They feel like that with this uh, Ace of Pentacles in the obstacle position um, and the Seven of Swords in reverse, okay? It's like you, you know, the Seven of Swords can talk about deception. It's not necessarily deception in this case. It's, it's someone who's very honest. I feel like there's a lot of projecting going on. Like somebody's really worried. Somebody was really worried about losing something here that they were really holding on to. Um, they may have been in this position. They may have had the position and you took the position from them right underneath them. Okay. Especially with the four of pentacles and the two of pentacles in reverse, this talks about contracts ending two of pentacles in reverse is a contract coming to a complete head. And then the four of pentacles talks about holding on. So somebody's holding on to something that is over. Yeah. And, and that's why they're, they're holding a grudge against you because you clearly, um, you outwork them or you outbid them or something. It could have been bidding. I feel like there's something about an item being bid on. So you could have bid on an item. I don't know. I'm hearing eBay. Somebody's salty about that. You won the bid. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, I love you guys. I'm going to get up out of here. Um, you guys check out all your free personal ratings. And if you're trying to book a rating, all that information is down below. Um, new merchandise just dropped. Okay. Uh, if you guys are purchasing any merchandise over there on Leo Sun Pisces Moon, just uh, when you go to checkout, enter Cosmic. For fifteen dollars off, okay. I believe what's today? It runs to the twenty second, so you guys have a little bit of time. All right. I love you guys so much. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Namaste.